out of the ordinary today. This isn't technical or electronic or anything like that. It's an unboxing of a universal clip lens that I've just got from eBay. This is supposedly three lenses. One is a macro lens, one is a wide angle and one is a fisheye lens. I got this mainly to do close-ups with the macro when doing videos, um, but well, we'll see what it's like, shall we? You can see immediately that this is a good product. That bodes well for the outcome. And not only that, but this universal clip lens can apply to iPhone, HTC, Samsung, I've never heard of a Samsung, smartphone and etc. It can also can be used on iPad, tablet PC and laptops or anywhere you can imagine. <laughs> there are lenses available, full shy, macro and wide angle lens. What's a full shy? Macro lens can take clear photos, clear photos of AMOL objects. Wide angle lens can shoot larger range of scenery. 180 degrees of the scene can be captured by fisheye lens, which can let you enjoy the unreal world. That I'm looking forward to. I've always wanted to enjoy the unreal world. This world that we live in is just pointless. So I think I'm going to start living in the unreal world instead. To use this lens, enable you easily enjoy photography and find the instant beauty of the world. I am looking forward to this. So without further ado, what's inside here? Okay, well there's one on a clip. A fisheye lens, 180 degrees. This one here is the macro. I like the way they've actually given you lens covers for them, not that that would really make much difference. Uh, and there's nothing at all under that one. Anything in the little bag? No. So what we have is, aha, I see. That's the wide angle and the macro together, by the looks of things. I assume they screw on somehow. Yeah, that comes undone. To, there we go. So we've got three lenses. I wonder if that one would go in there as well. Quite possibly. So there's probably a uh, a fourth unintentional function. I'll have to see what happens with that. But I think for the wide angle, you have to have it coupled with the macro since that's how it came. Otherwise, why would you have the thread in the macro? Now, the big question though, of course, is how does it actually perform? Well, here's my backup phone. And let's have a look. I want, first of all, the one that I got this for is for the macro. You can see it's got the word macro. I mean, you probably can't on there. It's got the word macro on the side. So we'll put the macro on there and you just clip it over the existing lens, except with this phone it doesn't reach. <laughs> Great. You can't use it with the HTC One. Oops, come back you. Ah, go away. Right. Does it actually work? It's almost, because it's slightly off-centred. You get faded side over here. But the left-hand side, yes, that's a reasonable macro image. I can see the print dithering. There's the Samsung. That's not bad actually. Bit distorted, but that could be again because of the the alignment of the lens. You can see it doesn't 
clip isn't big enough for it to fit, which is unfortunate since I effectively got it to use with this specific phone and from the sides it's even worse. But apart from that, the macro functionality certainly appears to work. Let's add the wide angle to it and see what we can get with that. Where's my picture gone? Again, because of the poor alignment, keeps on pressing the power button. In fact, there doesn't appear to be much difference, a little bit of difference between the two. At least slightly zoomed out. I just wish it would fit properly. Well, let's take it off the clip for the moment. I may have to build a new clip. And just hold it manually. Mm hmm. That's not bad. As I say, not a huge difference between with and without. So that just leaves the fish eye. This is the one that would give us the unreal world. Oh, look at that distortion, which is to be expected. But is that really particularly fish eye? Does it give me a full 180 degrees? Let's get that lined up and see where my hand appears on the right hand side. Ooh, that's certainly not 180 degrees before it comes in. That's less than 180 degrees. It certainly adds distortion to the image. Let's see if this one will work reasonably with the clip. Not particularly. I guess I should try it out on my main camera. where the lens is right on the edge. That's not bad. It messes with the focus a lot. Let's see what I can do with focusing of it. There we go. That gives pretty good coverage. The edges are completely blurred. But the central area gives quite a good wide angle view of it. We put the wide angle on my main camera. If I can get this lined up, it's right on the edge of the phone, my camera on here. as I can expect and focus that gives quite a good wide view actually I quite like that I might have to get a second one of these although yeah the macro is forming part of the wide angle so I can't have the macro on my backup phone at the same time as the wide angle on my main phone. That does make a difference. What happens if you just have the wide angle and not the macro? Let's see what that gives us. Probably an inability to focus. I think the thread is actually slightly different as well. That doesn't want to thread in easily. So I think they've got a different thread on this to stop you from using it by itself. Let's just try it out on here first. Actually, let's go in like this. Try and focus on anything. No, you can't focus on anything at all with the wide angle. Let's try really close in. No, there's 
nothing you can do with that one. So the macro one on the clip works reasonably well, even though it only half covers the camera. On the HTC One, but you do have to get. It is very macro. You have to get really close in, but that's good. Let's add some extra light. Let's see, that's probably just flood it. Yes, it's to offset the light, but that's not a. A bad result really for the macro lens. As I say I may have to invent a new clip, maybe a clothes peg or something, but that looks pretty good. It even comes with a, a little soft bag to keep everything in and I do like the way they've actually given you at least half cover for the lenses, there's nothing to cover the inside, but once it's inside the bag